really the first question I do have is, how did you go about saying, oh yes, that's something I want to do, that's a musical I want to perform, I want to put together? Because I listened to it so much, and um, I loved listening to it right. in the same way that I love listening to show albums when I was a kid. It was the same kind of, okay. of high that I got. Yeah. And I thought, huh, this is interesting. It's different from the way I, the way I listen to like a, yes. a, a yeah. rock album. It's, it's a different feeling and it tickled the same kind of impulse in me right. that right. listening to literally like listening to MAME or something right. to do, where I'd be like, oh, I want to do MAME, <laughs> you know, it was like American Idiot, it seemed like a show right. to me. It's as simple as that. Oh, and, cool. and so I went to, to, uh, to Green Day, to their people, and said, I want to do this, and it was, the timing was right, and they sent uh, Billy Joe to New York to see Spring Awakening, right, right. which he loved, and we went out afterwards, and we talked and talked and talked, and talked, and we were like, on paper, we should not be in the same room, even. but we got along great. Right. And then um, Tom is the first person that I called to, uh, to jump in to this crazy idea with me once Billy said, yeah, go for it. Which comes to the question, when it came to you with the idea that, hey, I've got this album, rock album, you know, cool and hip and whatnot, I want to make it into music, what did you think about the whole concept when they brought you into this? The show. Well, you know, it's a significant point in your life and you can remember where and when that happened. I remember the exact moment I was sitting at my table in the living room in my apartment and Michael called me and said, so there's this album American Idiot and we want to do a, a stage, we want to do a, a, a reading of this. Is that something you could help us do? And I just said, yes, yes, yes. It, it, it's, a, it's an iconic album. I'm a huge Green Day fan. It meant a great deal to me as, a, as an artist, and so um, I desperately wanted to, to make that happen. Really. And um, I think we can all say it's changed our life to work on this project. It's changing a lot of lives, millions. I think it'll change more lives down the road when you do more and more tours, which, which does come to the uh, whole idea of you guys do amazing works and you do select your work carefully. What's that one element you look for in anything you do, whether it's film or theater mm -hmm. or any sort of music? What's that one element you feel like, okay, that's it? Well, for me, the thing is that, uh, that it has some so, sort of, um, detonates some kind of emotional thing in me. So if, if I can connect to it um, passionately, for whatever, however, sometimes it's the music, sometimes I have an image in my head, sometimes it's the story or the character, that, that's the one thing for me. If, how about you? Uh, I think it's, um, do I need to put my artistic voice into this? Is it something that really excites me? And they're all different kinds of projects. Uh, it could be something that's dark and emotional. It could be something that is light and comedic. Um, I love all kinds of genres. So uh, as long as it really excites me, like I said, you feel like you can put your heart and soul right. into it and want to spend five years of your life working on it. <laughs> that's true. That's the other test. <laughs> that's the other test. <laughs> Because you do, you in. realize that, and the older you get, you realize that you know you have a, you just have a finite amount of time and energy to put into these things, and you know how long it takes, and that if in success, you know that you'll have a tour, and you'll have other countries, possibly other media, maybe there'll be a movie someday or a TV show or whatever, and that you want you want to make sure that it's something that you feel right. like you're you're in for the long haul. Yeah. Right. Speaking of movies. American Idiot. Well, we're hoping. <laughs> is there anything you're going about now? Is All the your pieces mind? are in place. Okay. We just have to um, <laughs> do it now. <laughs> <laughs> but there is. I mean, we're hoping. I mean, you know, everyone wants it to happen. Everyone so wants it to oh, happen. I want it to happen. Yeah. And I'm going to see American Idiot for the first time today. And I want the movie to happen before I even see the show. Yeah. <laughs> because there's so much buzz around. But when you see it, you'll understand that, that what. What Tom has done so brilliantly is really take this single voice and turn it into a, a voice of an entire huge community, or series of communities, really, because there's, there's, this, there's the suburbia, there's the city, and then there's uh, the Middle East, and they have their own unique sort of voice, but it's this multitude of people, 
but in the st in, on stage, it's all metaphorical, right. because you are, everything represents something else. Right. But in a film, you can actually make it literal. So the idea that we could even that we could literalize this means that it wouldn't just be like a, a filmed version of right, a stage right. play. Right. You could really explode the whole thing out and make it real. And and I don't think that's been done effectively yet with this kind of music. So that excites me too because I think it could be uh, it could be new and fresh. Cool.